What up? So, today, I have finally produced a half-ass prototype of something that I've been wanting to do for four years, and that is make my own animatronic show controller. And, uh, here it is. I call it Randall's animatronic show controller. And, uh, this is what I finally got. And, like I said, I've been thinking about this project, thinking about ways to do it for four years, and I finally got it together. So, uh, this is just an iPod. I used an old iPod just because I didn't know if I was going to end up damaging <laughs> the iPod. But, uh, any iPod will work. Uh, half the right side uh, signal gets fed into the microcontroller, which I'm using an 18 mega 644 and then the left side it's just regular audio so for this demo because of the only the connections I have I have the audio feeding into my TV so uh, let's turn on the microcontroller now if everything was pre-programmed if I had a song pre-programmed, the show pre-programmed right now, I could play it, and, uh, so this is the sample that I'm using. Okay, that was the sample that I'm going to program, and, uh, right now, the setup can drive eight channels but I can drive I can probably redo the program to drive 16 channels per trip chip and theoretically I can piggyback these chips and use as many chips as I want to have as many outputs as I need but right now uh, this prototype only drives eight outputs and they're uh, digital outs they're not analog outs and uh, right now, I only have uh, two LEDs. This one's connected to channel 0, and this one's connected to channel 1. So, uh, let's say I want to program uh, channel 1 to be a voice, like the mouth of an animatronic. Like I'm saying this. So, I had to enter a program uh, channel 1 mode. So I had to play an audio file, and this one only contains data side, it has no sound. So it takes, a, the way I have it set up, it takes a couple seconds, but you see, program uh, channel zero. So now we're set up to program channel zero. And uh, this is my first working prototype, so the screen isn't quite user friendly yet, but uh, I understand <laughs> what, what it's saying. So the next thing we do is had to select the song, and as soon as I press play on the song, it's going to start uh, recording the movements to these button presses right here. So let me go and sit this like this, and uh, I'm going to program to my best of my ability the red LED, which is hooked up to channel one. That let's say it was it would be the mouth of the animatronic. So hit play. At least that was pretty good for my first try. Obviously, if I was doing it for real, I would try my best to, uh, you know, get it to sync perfectly. So, if for some reason I didn't like how that went, I could replay the program channel zero and uh, redo the, that whole program. But I like how that one turned out. So I'm going to store that one to memory. So I go and I play the store uh, channel. Now this will only store the last channel you programmed to memory. So now it says data stored. So now channel 0 is programmed to memory. Now I had to shut down and turn back on the microcontroller to uh, play oh. okay I had to turn the microcontroller back on, and now channel one is already programmed. 
So just hit play. You see? And now I'll just keep on going over and over again. Now let's say I want to program channel uh, 1, which the yellow LED is connected up to on top of that. So I play the program channel 1 uh, file on my iPod. And... Uh, there it goes, program channel one. So now, once I start playing the file, I can record channel uh, one now. So I just did a long, short, long, short. But that would be, you know, that could be a light, that could be uh, another movement. But let's say I like that one. If I didn't like that one, all I had to do is go and go back and replay the program channel one and just do it all over again. It won't save it unless you tell it to save it. But I like that one, so uh, I'm going to go and save it. So now this is only going to save the last one you did. Okay, data stored. So now I have... Channel one on there, uh, channel zero on there, and channel one on there. So let's play it. Now the cool part about this is I can pause the show. So... So I paused it. And a hundred. It's updating... The frame rate is 10 frames a second. So this is a 10 second file, so uh, 100 bytes. So for eight channels, it's 10 bytes a second that you had to store to the microcontroller. For 16 channels, it would be 20 bytes a second, which is plain enough for a uh, you know, three minute song. But this is the first uh, working prototype of this controller. The only problem is my animatronic it's not with me. It's at my parents' house, which is 900 miles away. So I'm going to have to think of somehow something or build some kind of uh, animatronic to use this with. And I'll make a real nice, I'll put LEDs across here to show each channels. And, and depending, you know, depending on what, kind, what I'm driving, if I'm driving a solenoid or some kind of other digital out. And uh, this can also be a uh, Christmas, you know, Christmas light animation controller. But, uh, yeah. So I just wanted to post this to show proof of concept that uh, I can build, or I did build a standalone, no computers needed, animatronic show controller that can be played off an iPod.